Hey everybody, it's Allison here with New Little Life. Today we're going to be talking about max suction on 22 different breast pumps. I've tested these on my handy dandy little booby barometer. That was the winning name from our Facebook group for this device. This cool little device was designed and created for me by a mechanical engineer. Thank you to him. He did an awesome job at my very odd request, but I can actually test the max suction levels of these pumps. If you want to see some graphs and some more information on suction, because max suction doesn't mean the best suction. I will put a video up top for you on all things suction. Today I'm going to run down for you because I know you're going to ask max suction to worse suction. Actually, I'm going to do it the other way around. So hang out till the end of the video for the pump with the biggest max suction. I do have a few notes on my phone here because I actually looked up what the companies said the max suction of these pumps were. Some of them are quite interesting to compare what the company said versus what I was able to get with my test. So there you go. Now I'm only testing one pump. I'm sure the manufacturers tested more than that. Also, I don't know how they did these tests. Take that into consideration. My data is my data. It just is what it is. Anyway, here's what I got. Number 22 is the willow. Now, before you freak out, okay? The willow was freaking hard to test because it starts out in stimulation mode, which I could test. The max section I got in stimulation mode was 103, okay? But you can't get into expression mode until you have put enough milk into the device and it automatically switches for you. And then you have control over the suction level. Okay, so you can up or down whatever is comfortable for you. That's the part I needed to test, but I couldn't get that because I couldn't get milk in there and keep it in expression and put it on the device. I'm sure that this is not actually at the bottom of the list, but with my limited testing, that's all I could do. Anyway, stimulation mode was 103 mmHg, if you wanted to know. The company claims it will do 245 at its max sections, but we may never know. MMHG, by the way, is the unit of measurement that we're measuring this section. I'm not an expert on this, but that's just how we measure this section. Okay. Number 21 is the Amita Maya. Now, I debated on whether or not to even put this on the list because I'm not convinced that this pump is not malfunctioning. It is brand new, been used once, but the max suction I could get on this was 143 mmHg. The company claims 280. To me, that's just too big of a discrepancy. I think there's something wrong with this pump. I can't also get it to turn on with the battery. Anyway, I'll be emailing them. An update on this pump will be down in the comments or the description. Sorry. I do have some good data, I promise. <laughs> Okay, number 20 on my list was the Lansino Signature Pro. Now I got on my test 153 as the max of suction I could get. The company claims 220. So there's that. Either way, number 20 on my list. Number 19 on my list was the Medela Pump and Style Max Flow. Let's see what I got. My test came in at 181 mmHg. The company claims 240. So it's not that far off, but definitely less than what the company says it does. So again, just one pump, but it did come in at number 19 on my list. Number 18 on my list was the Freemie pumps. So I tested both the Freemie Liberty and the Independence with the cups. Okay, this is important because you're gonna see the Freemie pumps again lower on the list when I tested them with the actual, like with traditional phalanges. But with the cups, I tried several different things. I tried um, my old cups that I've used before. I tried brand new cups. I tried boiling the brand new parts and then putting them back together. I could not get a suction higher than like 182 to 191 on these things. The company claims, okay, there's no up-to-date info but an old website from the company claimed 280. Now I could probably get close to that with the phalanges, with the cups though, I could not. I tried so many things. Maybe it's different on a real breast. I don't know, I tried a lot. By the way, while I'm thinking about it, if you disagree with me on some of these or you'd like to have a discussion, you're welcome to comment below because 
I love to learn, and I'm happy to retest or phrase data in a new way if that helps you. So just throwing that out there. Number 17 was the Medela pump and style. A little disclaimer, this is an older pump for me. I probably had it for three years. So just throwing that out there. I did replace all the phalanges and stuff. It still works fine as well as I can tell. And the test I got said, mm, I was able to get a little bit higher suction than my husband on this test. Mine was about 226, his was 203, which was odd because usually he could get a higher suction than me. Company claims 240. Either way, still coming in a little bit lower than what they say, but not terrible. Number 16 on my list is a pump from Mom Cozy. I think this is called the Mom Cozy Hands Free. It's similar to the wearable pumps that you see, but it has the motor on the top. My test came in at 204, all right? The company claims 300. I did try this a couple times, but that seems like a big discrepancy. This pump is just okay in my opinion. I probably should do a separate video on it. It only has five levels that it goes up to. But anyway, I was only able to get 204 max suction on this one. Number 15 on this list is the Medela Swing. This is also kind of a loud pump. You can watch the video on the quietest, loudest breast pumps. I'll put that up top for you. Medela Swing, I was able to get 215 mmHg on the max section. Company claims 295. So, I don't know. To be honest, this is not my favorite pump in any area, but that's what the test said. Number 14 on this list is another pump from Mom Cozy. The Mom Cozy Portable, I believe this is what it's called. I got 225, 225 max section on this pump. The company, I could not find where they claimed anything. We looked through manuals, all that stuff. Couldn't find anything. So 225, the Mom Cozy Portable. Number 13 is another pump from Mom Cozy. The Mom Cozy Best Breast Pump, I think is what it's called. I don't know. They don't label or name their pumps very well. But this one, I was able to get 227. Again, the company doesn't claim anything. So there's that. Number 12 is a pump from Medela. The Medela Sonata. This one, I was able to get 229 max suction and the company claims 250. So that's not that far off. In my opinion, enough room for user errors. So this pump is pretty close to what it said it claimed. I also really like this pump. One of my more favorite pumps from Medela. So Medela Sonata, there you go. Okay, number 11, I guess this technically could have been tied with the Sonata because the Medela Freestyle Flex, I was able to get 230, the other one was 229, so right in there. They claim 245, so they even claim a little bit less. This one was even closer to what Medela actually says that it does. So this is an awesome pump. You can find more information about this one on my channel or on Instagram. I like this one. Number 10 on my list is Evenflow. I've seen this pump covered a lot by insurance companies, so I know several of you have this. I was able to get 235 max suction on this one. I could not find anywhere where the company claimed a max suction number on this. So 235, number 10 on my list. Ooh, number nine is a good one. This pump, I actually, on my test, got 240 on the max suction MMHG. The company only claims 220. So I got 20. MMHG higher than the company even says you can, which I thought was really interesting. I did it more than once though. I got the same number multiple times. Number nine, I think this is, on my list is the LV. I don't know why I was able to get more than what it says, but this little pump, it's got some suction. It's a really nice gentle suction too. If you actually wanna see a graph of this suction, I compared it with the Willow graph suction in the, that big suction video I did. I'll put that up top or down in the description for you. Number eight was a tiny little pump from Ecomum. I know I've talked about this one in a video before. I was able to get 260 mmHg on this one. The company claims 300, so pretty close. There's also multiple modes on this pump. Okay, there's like four different modes. They've got all kinds of crazy stuff. So perhaps I didn't check the right mode. I checked many of them, I think. Anyway, pretty close. 260 on my list, which puts it at number eight. Number seven is one of my favorite pumps ever, which is the Luna Motif. Motif Luna. 
Motif is the company, Luna is the pump. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I always say that one backwards. I was able to get 271 MMHG max suction on this. This one was odd because several sources like blogs or insurance companies claimed 280, which makes sense. I got 271, very, very close. There was nothing official from Motif though. So I usually try to find information in user manuals or actually from the company couldn't find anything here, but this was very close to the 280 that I see thrown around a lot. 271 for the Luna motif. Number six, we're getting close, is the Freemi Independence. Now, when I tested this with the cups, it fell much higher on the list. Where was it? 18, okay? But when I tested it with a traditional phalange, it came in at number six with 273 mmHg. So I got oh my word, almost a hundred more MMHG in suction with a traditional style phalange instead of the cups. So I just kind of wanted that noted that the pump itself actually performed quite well. The cups, I just couldn't get to perform as well. So interesting. Number five on my list was a huge shock to me. This is a pump that traditionally I have not loved to recommend, I mean, I like this company a lot, but I'm always kind of like, uh, about this one. My test though got 281 max suction MMHG. The company claims 300. So again, very close and it's a small pump. This one, number five on my list was the Spectra S9. I gotta go rethink some stuff about this pump. Number four on my list was the Bella Baby. A lot of you really like this pump. It's very cheap. It has four different modes. So the max suction kind of varied in the ranges from 283 to 291 on the modes. The interesting thing about this one though is that the company claims a maximum of 360. Please, not even close to what I got. And that's freaking high, like the highest by far that any company claims. So I don't know how they're getting that number. Maybe you could tell me more. I mean, this pump does have some beastie suction. So maybe I need to play with it a little bit more. If you want more information, especially on the section of each of these modes on this pump, you can comment below over or over on Instagram. I'll give you more information, but it did come in at number four on this list. Number three. Oh, this is a good one. This is a brand new pump that I got that I'm so excited about, but it's the Spectra Synergy Gold. Woo. Okay. This pump should probably be like number one forever because it has two motors. So the cool thing about this pump is that you can get the max suction level on both sides. I tested several pumps. Well, all of these pumps, I should have probably told you at the beginning, I tested on single mode. So just one plugged in, one phalange, that's how I tested it. This one though, I tested, well, I tested both, I guess, but it doesn't matter because there's two motors in it. So you're gonna get the max suction on both sides at the same time. When I tested the max suction on double pumping with other pumps, every single one that I tested, admittedly I didn't test all of them. All the ones I did though, the max suction level was brought down quite a bit. And you can see an example of that in the Spectra Synergy Gold versus Spectra One video, which I'll put up top for you. But I actually got on this test 294. The company claims 270. So this was another one where I was able to get a higher suction than the company even claimed. And like I said, you can get that suction on both sides, which is super unique. Only the other like um, wearable pumps that are individual motors, you know, could do that. Otherwise, this one, in my opinion, should have been number one. Number two on my list is a tiny, tiny little pump. And if you've ever used this, you will know that the suction is no joke. This is the Baby Buddha. This pump is killer, okay? It has some very interesting suction patterns. The suction levels were very high across the board, even on the lower setting. So that's something to keep in mind with this pump. It does have a really high max suction level. It also had super high minimum suction levels. So something interesting. Again, that big old all about suction video you can find actually graphs and more information on this because it was very interesting. 
but number two on the list because it came in at 311 MMHG. The company claims 320, right in the same ballpark. Killer suction on the baby Buddha. Number one on my list was the Spectra One. I've got some stuff to say about this one though. I was able to get 315 mmHg off this bad boy. This is actually, pump is a couple years old too. So that was super impressive. I've always thought for some reason 270. I see that number on Spectra stuff a lot. So I thought that was kind of the case. And that's also what it says on the Spectra US sales page, but I got way higher than that. So I was a little confused. Now on the Australian Spectra page, which is the same company, they're all made in Korea. So I'm assuming they're all the same pumps because it's just the Australian version. They actually claim in their user manual that it was 315 and I got 320. So that seems accurate to me. I have no clue where these companies get these numbers though. I mean, seriously, I think you can just put whatever the heck number you want on there, or I don't know how they test them. It's really crazy. So would I always trust the number that a company tells you is the max section? No, especially if it seems crazy, like 360, like, no. I guess you can basically put whatever you want. I also wouldn't trust numbers from like some random blog that you found. The ironic thing is that I'm probably gonna blog about this test and show you all the numbers. But I mean, if you can find this information in a user manual or on the company's website, that's a better way to distinguish this. But again, I don't know how these they come up with these numbers. Some of these companies, I think, just pulled them out of their derriers. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me what you think, though. I'd love to know down in the comments or over on Instagram. That's where I'm most active. You can find all kinds of fun stuff on Instagram. So head over there. Tell me what you think. Let's chat about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next video.